To present the Lifeline Tasmania Emergency Services Volunteer Award, joining us today is James Perry, the President of the Lifeline Tasmania Board. With over 400 volunteers, Lifeline Tasmania is very aware of the valuable contribution that volunteers make in all areas of our community and the critical support they provide in many instances to our frontline workers. Every year we see a huge commitment and expertise that nominations for the Emergency Service Award highlights in our SES, firefighting and ambulance services and the role they play in mentoring staff and volunteers. These awards are an important way to recognise and value their contribution and Lifeline Tasmania is proud once again to be sponsoring such an important award. Thank you. There were three finalists for the Lifeline Tasmania Emergency Services Volunteer Award. They are James Smith from the Tasmanian Fire Service. At the age of 78, James is an active volunteer firefighter with the Prospect Brigade. James started as a volunteer in 1957, 63 years ago, in which time he has held positions of Chief Officer, Brigade Chief, Volunteering Training Officer and Firefighter. James is a caring, understanding and empathetic person who constantly looks out for his fellow firefighters and is always the first person to reach out and check in on others. James ensures that the fire service is regularly represented at community activities and he is part of the Tasmanian Fire Service Museum Committee, restoring fire engines of yesteryear. James is also involved in a range of other community volunteering and over the past 63 years, his, this has included serving as the State Fire Commission member. The next finalist is Stephanie Bourne from Ambulance Tasmania. Stephanie is a volunteer paramedic with Ambulance Tasmania based at the New Norfolk branch. She supports emergency response across the Southern region from Dodges Ferry to Oatlands and the Huon Valley and everywhere in between. Stephanie brings a strong commitment to helping people in their time of need. She responds to every patient with her calm and capable presence so that they can experience the very best care possible, even in the most challenging situations. Stephanie, Stephanie is currently studying paramedicine at UTAS and intends to make this her career. She is a natural leader who has embraced this volunteer work as a selfless opportunity to provide emergency health care to her community. The third finalist is Kelvin Jones. He's from Glamorgan Spring Bay State Emergency Services. Kelvin has been unit manager of the Glamorgan Spring Bay State Emergency Services for 12 years and a member for the last 22 years. He has traveled interstate for cyclone and flood support and has participated in state and national training and competition events. He has been a member of the Tasmanian Fire Swan Service Swansea Brigade for 22 years, as well as being involved in a number of other community-based volunteering activities. Kelvin leads by example. Many community events in the Swansea area simply would not happen without him. It is the unofficial roles that Kelvin holds that send him onto a whole new level of simply amazing. He supports elderly community members, providing them with home safety advice, changing smoke alarm batteries, and so much more. Kelvin always puts others first. And the winner of the Lifeline Tasmania Emergency Services Award is James Smith from the Tasmanian Fire Service. Congratulations, James, and also congratulations to Stephanie and to Kelvin.